Today I'm watching a brand new show. I've never seen the show before. I've heard only good things about it, so I'm really excited to finally be starting this series and to share my first time watching with all of you. Today I'm watching Firefly. Uh, I'm very excited. I've heard like I said, like only good things about the show. I think it's going to be amazing. I know there's only one season, so I'm going to try and pace myself and try and just enjoy each episode as much as possible since it is, I believe, 14 episodes, 12 episodes, something like that for the first season. So uh, I'm really excited. I know it's the same creator as Buffy and I've really enjoyed the same Buffy episodes that I've seen so far. You can check out my reaction videos to that series as well. The only thing I really know about it is I think it takes place in space. Like I think it's a sci-fi show of some kind. Um, I think I've seen the poster maybe, um, but I know nothing about the plot. And the only cast member that I know is Nathan Fillion is in this. And that's because he's Canadian and I think he might even be near from a town near where I live or some or the same province even um, so I'm really excited to see that I love seeing Canadian actors um, so I'm very excited and I know there's a lot of die-hard Firefly fans so I will try and do it justice um, please no spoilers I want to give you my honest reaction and again with it being such an amazing show and having such a limited run I really want to capture the true reaction as best I can click the link in the description below to get the full reaction videos and thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for tv shows you think i should watch please comment below and let me know and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content okay i'm guessing some kind of war is going on I'm not sure what even planet this is. Okay, okay. It's a very intense, like, first scene of the first episode. Is that, um... I think she was in Suits. Is that, uh, I think her name's Gina Torres or something? I might be mispronouncing her last name, but she was definitely in Suits. <laughs> Oh my, that's quite the gun. Okay, okay. I'm guessing this is sometime in the future. They didn't say a year. Pew, 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 pew! What? The man says it's too hot. What? Out. They're on their own. Oh, that sucks. They've just been abandoned. Oh no! What are they gonna do now? Ooh. Everything looks good from here. Oh, and I know this actor as well. I can't remember his name, but I've definitely seen him in other things. This is a fertile land. <laughs> He's playing with his dinosaur toys. That's so cute. Is that another? Can I, she's Canadian as well. Uh, Jewel Straight, I believe, is her last name. Okay, no, so many Canadians. Ugh. She was on a show I used to watch as a youth called Flash Forward, where she had a crush on the boy next door. It was very cute. Yeah, and the camera style seems to be like dock POV, like it's a lot of quick zooms. It has an interesting soundtrack too. It's like old timey like violin music like yeah it's it's interesting and now we f okay finally get the title credits and with like the text burn in is this supposed to be like western or something actually worth a little risk oh just some gold bars no big deal that's for but with enough to find some sweet little getaway oh what my real path yeah, so those gold bars had like some symbol on the other side or something that he seemed, that the captain seemed like very concerned about and wanted to hide. Okay, these two are together, I'm guessing. Experience has been more than, it was very good. Thank you. The time went too quickly. She's like a space lady of the evening. Yeah, like they haven't really, for a first episode, it seems very like 
they're already in it. Like they're already doing their thing. Um, usually the first episode of a show is like establishing characters and setting up the scene. This is like, no, we're going full force. Like we're already in it. And they stole those gold bars and now they're taking them to trade at this dock and that other lady's gonna meet them there. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I don't know that I think I'm like shouldn't take too long. Just for trying to still pick up all the pieces. Good dogs. Uh, oh god. I'm guessing that's a, a delicacy in Persephone maybe. You're going here sooner. You might have beaten the bulletin that came up saying Rogue Vessel Classification Firefly was spotted pulling illegal salvage on a derelict transport. Uh-oh. Didn't I do this? Busted. Didn't I do you? No, it doesn't. But the government stamp on every molecule of the cargo just made in mind. Oh, so the gold bars are marked? You know, Whoops. The fluid I see here is a puddle of piss refusing to pay us our wage. Ah. Uh, now, now. It's play nice. Yeah. I have that feeling. Uh, uh oh. I'll never stop turning, Badger. That only matters to the people on the rim. <laughs> okay, so now what are they gonna do with this gold? Hmm. Anyway, no more surprises. Okay, so they're gonna try another. Oh, who's this gentleman? But they're gonna try another planet and talk to this patient's lady. Plasma, insulin, whatever they ain't got enough of on the board. Of okay, so they're lying and saying they're dropping off medical supplies and they're actually going to trade those gold bars. Okay, okay. Yeah, I guess they don't want to tell these people, hey, P.S., we also stole a bunch of gold and now we're gonna try and sell it, so. Back yet. I've got a decent companion on board. This. This isn't okay, for you. Is it it's an interesting concept. In the future, you'd have to have a companion with you at all times in case you dock with a ship that requires one. Okay. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm still not sure I'm like, I feel like I'm still catching up on all the stories and all the, gosh, um, still catching up on all the stories and all the characters, but I'm enjoying it. It seems like it has like a bit of a, like, since they've left the war, now they're focusing more on characters and the backstory and stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Someone make it, someone. And I guess it's good we're helping. So I guess like overpopulation has happened and they've created moons and now they're just shipping people to these moons and leaving them there and probably promising things that aren't actually true. On the ship. This guy's so suspicious of everything. Ha 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 ha. I don't know how much got through. Well, it's got a pin in us for sure. What language are they speaking? Get your toothpaste. Whoa, bonked him. Goran fed. Hate to say it, Captain. You've got the wrong man. Whoa, this guy turned them in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Effect on the landscape? Please. We're very close to true stupidity. Here. I got a cruiser in route for intercept, so talk all you want. You got about 20 minutes. Might have less than that. Yeah. Okay, so what did this doctor do? Why are they arresting him? Ah! 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 Oh! What? What? What are we doing right now, people? Are you serious? Kaylee was like the sweetest one on board. Are you kidding me? And they just shot her? Oh my god, what is happening right now? I can't do this. They're killing off the cast in episode one? Oh, cheese and rice. Captain, we've been hailed by a cruiser. Ordered to stay on course and dock for prisoner transfer. Uh, but now they need him because he's a doctor and she was just shot. Oh gosh. You'll never make it to the feds. Oh yeah, they'll probably kill you. You rich kids. You think your life's the only thing that matters? What you do? Oh my gosh. This took a twist. Help me get her up. What? Change course and go. Okay. 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 Uh, yep, so now they're running with a fugitive on board, and hopefully they can save Kaylee. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this. Oh, cheese and rice. Well, let's see what a man like you would kill for. 
Yep. <gasps> what is it? A human? Is that a person frozen? What are we doing here, people? Oh my gosh. Who is this? Uh... I don't know if she'll be all right. I don't know what they did to her or why. Oh gosh. I, I just have to keep her safe. Yeah, did she know something? Like they were trying to like do experiments on our brain or something? It might be best to do. Well, he seems heartbroken about yeah. that. He's very like, this is a dictatorship, not a democracy. He doesn't care what you think. Well, you should probably be working for them. We certainly fit the probe. Oh, bonked him. That was a mean punch. Just gonna cut on you until you tell me how much they know. They know everything. They know every name, every record. They know how many nose hairs you've got. Oh, who's doing that research? Those were the group of people that they said were like barbaric basically like they were just so from another time almost hmm <laughs> men gone savage on the edge of space killing they're not stories okay so it's like lord of the flies like uh, if they take the ship they'll rape us to death oh flesh oh and so we're skins into their clothing oh oh we're very very lucky ah they'll do it in that order ah Okay, these sound like the worst people. Cheese and rice. Oh my god, that sounds awful. None of that. Nope. Don't want any of that, please. <laughs> Kaylee seems like the sweetest one on this whole ship. Can't lose her now. We just met. Uh, have these two um, had some uh, sexy times? Seems like there's a lot of tension in the room. Kaylee's dead. What? What? No. Oh, I thought she just went to sleep. <sighs> or is he just saying that? I don't know. I don't know what to trust in this show anymore. <sighs> it's been a long first episode. A lot has happened. Is she actually dead? One episode? Are you kidding me? What's going on, man? Yeah, okay, not funny. She's fine. My heart can now stop beating a million times a minute. Yes. Oh my god, he's like... Uh, what a jerk. What a jerk. I left no coordinates for a rendezvous point outside of town. See you in the world. Okay, so they found a buyer for the gold. This patient girl, this patient lady is gonna take it. That woman's planning to shoot me again. It's possible, she yeah. Pay you. She obstacles in our path, and we're gonna deal with them one by one. Uh, this. Oh, he's slowly escaping. Oh gosh. Then they're gonna be in trouble. Ah. And if the Alliance knows everything he said they knew, oh my gosh. Nice first for an ambush. That it is. This feels like a long movie, actually, or like a movie. It doesn't feel like a TV episode. Shepherd book. I believe you're in more danger. Ah! Oh gosh, bonked him. Wow. Okay, you think once was enough? Cheese and rice. Now this Fed's gone rogue. Oh my gosh. Bye. Oh. He's gonna shoot the captain? I know he wants to. Oh, okay. He's trying to call the Alliance again, I guess. It's pure patience. Genuine A grade foodstuffs. Protein, vitamins, immunization supplements. Oh, I thought they were gold bars. For a month. Longer. They don't like their kids too well. <laughs> yep. That's just tough. Okay, so it's food, protein bars and stuff they're training. What parts of her brain do they poke around in? Uh... Ah! All woke up. Oh, I'm sorry about what happened before, but make so much as a sound, the next one goes through your throat. Ah! Keep right. Nice hat. <laughs> Woo! Cheese and rice. Oh my gosh. 
Pew pew pew. Whoa. Oh no. Think about asking the captain to drop you somewhere else. Okay, so she backed out of the deal. She wasn't actually going to pay them for that stuff, and then they tried to peacefully leave, and obviously that was never going to actually happen. He took River. Oh no, 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 no. Everything's falling apart. Well, that's a cool shot. Pew! Oh, right in the arm. Ouch. Oh! Poor horse. Oh gosh. Not the horse. Ugh. We got ship coming in. They followed us. The Gorham Reavers followed us. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, man. Now what are they gonna do? Oh. To uphold the law. That's what we're talking about here. And bash people over the head. Oh gosh, no, are they gonna get out? Oh, this is making me very anxious. Ah, no! <gasps> I'm not playing anymore. When were you playing? You make so much <gasps> Bye! He's like, I've had enough of this. <laughs> we're just ending it. Oh my gosh. Well, now you're in trouble. Jay? If you weren't before. Yikes, 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 yikes. Get out of there before they get there, quick. And they're just gonna dump them. Wow, okay, bye. Don't need this anymore. Whoa, gosh, barely made it back in. What? What, this is crazy. Of they need to be the farthest rappers. Come on, wash it, dumbass, dodge it. If everyone could just be quiet a moment. He's very zen, this pilot. He's very calm. Amidst all this chaos, he's very chill. Okay, okay, so something between those two either has happened or he wants to happen. Okay. Everybody hold on to something. There's something you can't do. Whoa, what? Oh, pew! Bye! See you never! Sir, I'd like you to take the helm, please. I need this man to tear all my clothes off. Hello! Subtle, very subtle. Well, the truth, though, you're probably safe on the move. And we never stop moving. Okay, okay, so he's gonna let them stay. So that was my first time watching Firefly Season 1, Episode 1. It was a really long episode, a lot happened. I don't know if all the episodes are that long or just because it was the first episode they made a longer version. Um, so basically it's about a space crew um, captained by this guy named Mal who seems very like it's his way or the highway type of deal. He doesn't really care about your opinion even if your opinion proves out to be valid later on. Um, he's very hard-headed and wants to just do things his way. Um, and then they stopped on this planet to try and trade some gold that they had stolen off another ship. The gold was tagged with the Alliance symbol which means that it's going to be tracked and it's going to be harder to sell. They tried to sell to this guy named Badger. He turned them down, um, which meant they had to go to a less than reputable planet or moon, I believe, um, that they were trying to sell to this girl named Patience, who had a history with Mal. She, apparently she tried to shoot him or did shoot him last time they met. Um, so he was less than excited to obviously revisit that. Um, but that ended up being their only option, basically. Two of the people that ended up picking up were Simon, who is a doctor, a very talented doctor and then he had his sister who was frozen in one of his uh, suitcases. Apparently she went to this school and then the school was actually hurting her and doing experiments on her brain so he's rescued his sister and is trying to bring her back to health. Um, obviously a lot to unravel there, not sure what her backstory is or what's really happened to her at that school. Um, but an interesting side story for sure and it looks like Mal is gonna let Simon and River stay on the ship. Originally that wasn't the plan. Um we also found out that Simon was being hunted by this federal agent who was also on the ship because it was obviously an illegal kidnapping of his sister um, to take her with him but the federal agent had ulterior motives and they ended up killing him and left him on the planet with patients. Um, they were able to sell the gold to patients 
with some gunfire and some chaos, um, but they did get some money. So it looks like they've got some money for fuel for the ship. And they uh, ended the episode with them traveling off to the unknown, basically. Um, yeah, it was a lot. Um, there was quite a few Canadian actors, which I was really excited to see. Um, and then one of the Canadian actors, Jewel Strait, her character Kaylee was actually shot during this episode, which is a lot to think that one of the characters would be killed off so early on in the season. Luckily, it looks like she's going to be okay. The camera style seemed to be like POV documentary style almost. Like there was a lot of pans and then a quick zoom. Like it didn't seem like a feature film style where everything is kind of structured and shot out. This seemed a little bit more like handheld and kind of that kind of style of shooting. Um, also interesting choice of sound and the title credits had like the burned in script text, which makes me think like a Western or a cowboy or something to that effect. Um, I wasn't anticipating that. I knew it would be more sci-fi, but I wasn't really anticipating like a cowboy Western element in this episode as well. On top of all this that's going on, they also encounter or briefly encounter these Reeves who seem to be a group of people who are just the worst basically and will torture you to death and just make your what's left of your life very, very miserable. Um, they were able to avoid them, but I feel like there would be a constant threat going forward in the series and that they would always be kind of lurking on the fringes and the potential for them to show up at any minute could always be there. So um, yeah, a lot going on. I really enjoyed it. I'm sure there's still some pieces that will make more sense later on in the series um, as there was a lot going on and a lot of new characters. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it overall. Looking forward to seeing where the series goes. Um, thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below and let me know. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Cheese and rice. Bonked him. They're killing off the cast in episode one. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 The next one goes through your throat. Ah. Now what are they gonna do? Oh. Ah, no. <gasps> What? What? This is crazy!